Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use waypoints. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, get to waypoints on the app and um, everything that you need to know for waypoints. It's not very um, detailed, uh, these other videos that I found. So um, I'm going to show you everything and I'm also going to show you what the drone sees too once you set these waypoints. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto the app and uh, you're going to see this screen, uh, which is what your drone camera is going to see. And you're going to tap the remote control to the left of the screen. And then there you go. You have the hyperlapse, quick shots, active track, uh, point of interest, waypoints, uh, tap fly and cinematic mode. So we're going to do waypoints and you just tap that. And then it brings you to the GPS mode of your drone. So um, for instance, I'm going to tap on the screen and that's when you set your first waypoint. Um, for me, it sets it to a height level of 160 feet uh, to set your second waypoint. Um, it will also be 160 feet and it will fly to the next waypoint. And then I'm gonna tap again, make a third one and a fourth one. Now when I tap the first waypoint, after you have created it, you can adjust the altitude. Now you, you would want to swipe your finger up and down on the screen to adjust the level. So for instance, I'm gonna go down to 80, 80 feet. Next is the speed, um, it's at cruising. And you can also set the uh, gimbal pitch when it's flying to the second waypoint. So for this instance, I'm just going to have it down to negative 30. That should show us um, for the next step, which is setting the point of interest. And then you can also have your camera set to take a photo. You can have it start recording on a first waypoint. Um, or any of the waypoints and stop recording on certain waypoints as well. And then point of interest. So there is none and I'm going to start that real quick. And in order to set your point of interest, you want to tap the star right next to the save file. And I'm gonna tap where we are. So if you tap it again, um, you can adjust the altitude of which the, wave or the point of interest is. So I'm going to adjust it to 80 feet. And I'm going to tap back on the first waypoint. So in order for your camera to look at point of interest one, uh, it's selected at none, so you tap one, and there you go, as you can see the icon switch to look at the first point of interest. So if you want that for the second point of interest, you just do the same thing, select point of interest and number one. So it's also looking at the first, first um, point of interest. Now we go back to number one. And uh, we, can, we can change the camera action. So I'm gonna have it start recording at the first waypoint and go back to the second waypoint and I'm gonna have it stop recording. So it's gonna start recording at 80 feet and then at 160 feet it's gonna stop. So I'm going to have the drone fly up a little bit at let's say 100 feet from 80. In the video, it's not gonna make much of a difference, but uh, I'm just showing you for a demonstration. And I'm going to set the third one also to 100. The point of entrance still at number one. And I'm gonna have it take a photo. And same with waypoint number four, point of interest number one, and have it take a photo and lower the altitude uh, to 100. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to mention one thing. Um, you can also uh, adjust the speed at which the first waypoint goes to the second waypoint. So just tap the first waypoint, go to cruising, and the same thing. You just swipe with your finger up and down.
So I'm gonna have it set to about five miles per hour. And then do the same with number two. So it goes the same speed. And then from number two to number three, you can have it go faster. Let's just say 10 miles per hour. And then to the fourth one, I'm gonna have it go slow again to let's say five miles per hour again. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to take off and in order to do that, there's the go button uh, right there, kind of where the remote control was at first. Um, and you just tap that and it will automatically fly straight up um, and then it'll go to the first waypoint.